Hi, we're ready to see you now, Miss Waltz. Okay. Right this way. Take a seat, Miss Waltz. Now, I understand that you've written, produced, and directed several films, some of which I'm familiar with. What we don't know is about you and what you think you might bring to the table. I guess specifically, what makes you different from the others that want the position and why should we add you to our director's team? Well, I've written and directed a number of- We all know what you've done. We want to know what you're going to bring to this table. We're not looking for someone to just slap their name on my credits and say that so-and-so directed this. We want someone who's worth our time and money. Are you worth our time and money, Miss Waltz? Have you even read the script? If not, this is going to be a complete- I assure you that I'm not here to take up space on the credits or to waste anyone's time. I'm not a child. And excuse me, but I know how to prioritize. Now, I've read through the script a number of times, and I do have some suggestions and even some actors in mind. Do you mind? That's what we're here for. To start off, I read the character descriptions, and I think we have some really strong characters, but I'm not sure if the characters are aware of that. Now, that's okay if that's what's intended, but in other words, which character knows who he is and which character does not? Now, I posed this question when I was reading the script, and I believe that our protagonist is strong, yet it's not until the ending fighting scene that he discovers this for himself. But also, as a black man... A black man? Excuse me, but if you read the character description for Tanner, it's a white male. Actually, I did, but I don't think that Tanner is white. As a child, his struggle for acceptance would be, better, would be best conveyed as a black male. Now also, I think that it'd be surprising and interesting for the audience to see a black male in an acting role, in an action role, excuse me, because there's not many black males in action films right now. Whoever said that we are trying to surprise our audience with the protagonist's ethnicity? Our intentions are to surprise with action, not with race. And our intentions are to sell tickets. Do you understand that, Ms. Waltz? We're not trying to break boundaries. <laughs> I understand, but I don't think that... I didn't think that we should follow the typical American hero's description, that being a white man. Um, I think that we grab more attention to the fact that it's something that's not expected. Ms. Sports, I'm gonna have to agree, Mr. Summers. Our vision here is not to, how I say it, grasp the minority, it's to grasp the majority of the viewers out there. Yes, we're not trying to break boundaries, and not to be rude, but we're not trying to make the next Spike Lee film, okay? We're not trying to shove acceptance down our viewers' throats. To go off of Brett and Charles, we're trying to make the next big action movie. We need the, the audience to accept our character and fall in love with him. I don't think the world is ready for a black hero yet. Do you understand that, Ms. Waltz? Honestly, I'm appalled that you guys all share the same idea of what it is to create a good movie. Not to be rude, but I don't think this is- Ms. Waltz, I'm sorry to hear that you can't grasp our vision. Maybe this isn't the position for you. But thank you for coming in today. You don't have to say anymore. You're right. This is not the job for me. You know what? That's not all. How dare you try to tell me what the public wants to see? I've been doing this for years, and if you look at my resume, you'll see that I know what my audience wants to see. Like I said, I'm not a child. I'm a grown-ass woman, and I'm not stupid. You think I've been, you think this is the first time I've been in a meeting as the only black female present? You sit here and judge me because I'm the only black female? And that's crap because you, this has nothing to do with my abilities. Now, before you sit there and judge me, you might want to know that, that Charles is gay.